This video is a continuation of the part one in which we created an HTTP handler for listing items in an inventory using a GET request. So in part two, we're going to implement an HTTP handler for adding a new item to an inventory via a POST request. So this handler is going to look very similar to the original handle func. For our second endpoint, we have a HTTP multiplexer and we call the handle func method this time for the slash inventory slash add item endpoint. And this was going to process post requests. It's going to decode a new item from the request body, and it's going to add it to an in-memory inventory map that's defined here if it does not already exist. And so first we want to handle the HTTP request to this endpoint for adding the item. And so we are going to register a handler function, so func, W is the HTTP dot response writer, and R is going to be the pointer to the HTTP request itself. First, we want to verify the HTTP method. We only want to support post methods. So if R dot method does not equal to HTTP dot method post, then we use the HTTP error method, which takes three arguments the response writer that constructs the HTTP response, the error message, which is inventory slash add item, supports only post methods. And the third argument is the status code that we want to add to the response body, which is HTTP.status method not allowed. So this verifies that the incoming request is a post request. And if it's not, for example, if it's a get or put request, it returns an HTTP error with status 405, method not allowed, because this endpoint is going to only support post requests. And then we return. Next, we want to decode the request body into an item. So we start by initializing an item using item instantiated to new item. And this is equivalent to creating an empty item struct. If error is initialized to json.new decoder of the request body, so we read the request body using this new decoder, and then we decode the request body into an item. And if the error does not equal to nil, then we want to return an HTTP error, where we pass in the response writer, the error, and the status code for a bad request, and we return. So just to further explain what this line is doing, a new item is going to hold the incoming data. And this code tries to decode the JSON data in the request body into the item struct. And if the decoding fails, for example, due to malformed JSON, an error message is going to be returned with an HTTP of 400 bad request status. And we want to lock the inventory for safe access using mutex.lock. And we defer the unlock of the mutex when the function exits or if an error occurs during processing. So if OK inventory item dot ID, it means it's a duplicate item because ID already exists. And in Go, this is the syntax to check that an item dot ID already exists in the inventory. It's saying if this inventory at this item dot ID produces an OK result, then we have a duplicate. So HTTP dot error, we pass in the response writer, the error, which is item already exists as well as the status code, hb.status precondition failed. And the precondition is that the item does not exist. And then we return this HTTP error. And in the case that this item is not a duplicate, we can say inventory at item.id equals item. So we're mapping the item.ids as the key and the item as the value that we're adding into the inventory. And finally, we can return the HTTP multiplexer 